Hi, everybody. Today, I've got the chance to do a really exciting interview with Kayla Boggs. Kayla is a student, hi Kayla. Kayla is a student in our EMT program in the LaGuardia Division of Adult and Continuing Education. And she's doing a six month training to become, believe it or not, an EMT here in New York City. Thanks for joining us, Kayla. What made you wanna become an emergency medical technician? I wanted to become a EMT primarily to kind of feel out my way in like a medical field and see if I wanted to commit to the crazy lifestyle, like studying all the time, like really being on my game at all times. You started your training to become an EMT in New York City in the middle of COVID back in the spring, right? The program started, um, I believe the end of last year. So we came in, we started doing like all of our lectures. We started doing like the hands-on portions mixed in with everything. Thing. And then COVID hit. So we finished the lectures uh, via Zoom with Mark Moore. Excellent. Like he kept it fun. He kept it lively. Like we learned so much just sitting through our computer for, you know, three and a half hours every night. We got through those lectures. Once we came back for the hands on, it was just like everything kind of fell back into place. Like we were all kind of prepared. We were all excited in our group chats. We were like, we can't wait to see everyone. We can't wait to be back. We can't wait to finish. How many students are in your group right now doing EMT together? So there was about maybe 40 of us. Um, so now it's pretty, pretty split. Um, I would say we have maybe 15 students with us um, at night. Um, and then the rest in the morning, we have classrooms of five and then plus the instructor. We're wearing gloves, we're wearing goggles, uh, we're wearing masks. When do you go into the field and start having real work experience as an EMT? So we all get one rotation. Um, it's 12 hours. Uh, we get to choose whether we want to have it based in Queens, Manhattan, Brooklyn, or Bronx. Um, so my rotation is this coming Friday and it's going to be out of St. Barnabas in the Bronx, a night shift, 9 p.m. to 9 a.m., and I'm really excited. As you finish your EMT training, um, there's several options, right, in your future. Tell, tell us about what some of those options are, now that you're almost, you gotta pass that exam, yeah. almost an EMT in New York State. So what are some of the career options out in front of you that are possible? Starting from EMT, um, we were told that we can go from there and we can take it to the paramedic program next. Um, and in some cases, um, it is possible to go from paramedic, you can go to PA to be a physician's assistant. Um, you can be a medical assistant. That's another program um, that LaGuardia offers, but you can even use it for experience in nursing. I know some nurses, like some of my friends wanna be nurses and I just recommend this to them because it's a, go it's a great program to like kind of be ready for patient care. And, and what about for Kayla Boggs? I am definitely coming back for the medic program, for the paramedic program at LaGuardia. Um, it's like the, the gold star, like you're, you start off basic and then you're like, ooh, I want to get that. That's going to do even better things. How did you learn about LaGuardia? And now that you're a LaGuardia student, what's LaGuardia like for you? I'm currently a student at Hunter College. I'm finishing up my bachelor's in psychology. I started off as a freshman at Hunter, hoping to get into the nursing program. But as the years went on, it was, it was just not clicking really for me. But then I saw one of my friends, she started the program at LaGuardia. And she had only good things to say. And it kind of made me feel like, you know, she's doing something like important with her time. And I just wanted to be a part of it and, you know, see what happens. And then I got here and everyone was just wonderful. It was better than I could have, you know, hoped for. I would definitely finish up my bachelor's there and move over to LaGuardia just because, like, it just feels better. You make it sound so easy, but I always thought EMT was hard. Is it hard? It's difficult, um, but it's the kind of difficult that you kind of want to keep going. Like, once you kind of understand one thing you're like oh wow the next thing is gonna make so much more sense and it's kind of just like a domino effect of how much you can really learn well kayla thanks for taking the time to talk to us about your emt training here at laguardia community college 
we wish you a lot of luck. I hope that uh, when you're out in the field on that ambulance coming out of St. Barnabas Hospital in the Bronx on Friday for your first 12 hour shift, uh, you don't have too. I know you want excitement. I can tell in your eyes you want, I don't want, I hope it's not too exciting, okay? <laughs> I hope it's great and I know you'll learn a lot uh, and please uh, be safe. But thanks again for taking the time to talk to me about this great program and the best of luck to you, Kayla. Thank, Thank you for you. being involved.